Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today's March 15, 2023. We're going to talk about Fetch.ai because the market reaction to this chat GPT and AI artificial intelligence is really harnessing a lot of attention in the news, social media. So everyone is trying to figure out, okay, where's the next play at? Where will the money go regarding this newest information of technology that is coming out? And Fetch.ai has caught wind of that. You guys can see over the last couple of days, the market at Fetch.ai has gone higher, but it hasn't gone substantially higher. Isn't that amazing? Even amidst all of the hype that is coming out about ChatGPT and other artificial platforms, Fetch is still trading within the trading range. It's still consolidating. Now let's talk about it because I did a price prediction in Fetch all the way back here on February the 8th, you guys can see I was playing a downside move in the particular cryptocurrency at that time, and the market definitely has succeeded at that idea that we've talked about. So 14 and three quarters of a percent, it didn't take too long for the market in Fetch to give us that information, to give us that ultimate TP price. Congratulations. Let's go ahead and take that away though. Now, I really wanted to show you the price action in Fetch now so can we honestly say that the market in fetch is still trending higher yes we can the trend is still intact right we got it but we also can see that resistance into the market in fetch is coming in around 50 cents as well okay so what we have here is what many technical analysts term an ascending triangle Okay, so you would expect to see something of that nature in terms of price action. You'll expect the market eventually to break outside of this ascending triangle. Now, it could go either way, okay? Many technical analysts think that the market is supposed to break out and above this ascending triangle, but it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. But seeing how price is getting rejected right now and fetch up here around this 50 cent level, we understand that the buyers currently are not willing to do just that. They're not willing to break the price outside of this ascending triangle to the upside. That's what we're getting right now. Let's look at FES here on the two day time frame. Currently, this two day price bar right here is telling me that the market currently is getting inundated with more selling than there are buyers. We're closing off the highs and then the volume is increasing definitely higher than what we've seen in what the last six two-day price bars so again the demand is waning we're losing the market interest of trying to take fetch higher now it doesn't mean that we're going to see a crash matter of fact here's where buyers could possibly be located on the sense of weakness continuing to come through they might come in and prop up the price right there around 40 cents okay here it is on the three-day chart a day and 13 hours left again i really like that uh 40 cent price if we ever see fetch break 40 cents to the downside be prepared for the market to come down and test this trend line again so going to say that this is where we have pretty much of a very good confirmation that buyers will come in and support price okay so these will be the two er well three areas so i will say 40 cents first my second area would be down here around 36 and a half down here on these lows. And then my third area would be down there around 30 cents. I'm just saying. Seeing the market weakness currently come through. Okay. Looking at this on the weekly chart, let's break this down because these weekly price bars definitely is worrisome for me in terms of looking at 50 cent being resistance. It's, it's been consecutively like what? How many? One, two, three, four, four consecutive weeks. The market in fetch tried to break above 50 cents and it wasn't successful. That tells you that there's a very big wall of selling right there around 50 cents for fetch, meaning that don't expect the price to go up until the buyers take out whoever is selling their fetch in the market at these prices now it looked like they're going to try to attempt again to break above 50 cents on this current wiki price bar but given the history of seeing fetch trade around 50 cents it doesn't look probable as of right now that the market's going to be able to be successful at that 
Okay. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play some weakness into the market and fetch. All of these lines that you guys see on the chart, I know it looks confusing, which is why I don't play confusion. I'm just going to show you as a reference where we're going to put our price targets. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you this. We're going to look for fetch to continue to trend down. That first target, like I told you already, it's going to be around 40 cents. That's 8.9% move to the downside, right there around 40. The second area target is going to be here around 36 and a half. Okay. That is what 16.68%, 36 and a half cents there. And then the last target is going to be right here on this trend line. Okay. Which is around 32, almost 33 cents, 25.44% right there around 0.3268 all right that is it i am done welcome to the team hit that like button you know subscribe as well if you guys want to be one of the first ones to get a heads up as to where price is suspected to go without any confusion make sure you maintain the profitability and it's always trade different